say it's a, a great time for us to, to think back and, and really remember what, you know, what people have done for us in the past to be able to, to have the freedoms that we have uh, that I think we take for granted a lot of times. And, um, you know, even events in recent days have, have shown that, uh, you know, nothing, uh, nothing ever comes without people sacrificing for, for the greater good. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's our job and our time to say thanks and, and remember, and uh, um, even if it's just for a short time, We should remember all these uh, soldiers who fought and died for this country. And uh, as a veteran, it, it means a lot to me. And I always attended Remembrance Day every, every year. As rodeo athletes, we're all about remembering our past, our record holders, our memorable athletes of the past. But we wouldn't even have that past if not for the soldiers that have fought for us and fought for our freedoms. That now we get to live our dreams every single day because of those. And especially with recent events in Ottawa, it's no longer in the past. It is the forefront of our news and it's something that we need to be so thankful for. Well, I hope that the recent events really um, makes people think about you know, the work that uh, the military does and I think it was significant with maybe some of the wars in the past but I think it's still ongoing um, and it's still important to think about the people that are active in doing that now and the sacrifices that they make and, and what their family is doing and and also to think about those type of events that that military um, family you know they're, they're impacted all across Canada and the camaraderie that they have for each other so I think it's important for you know Canadians to recognize that.